Hasta luego, Samuel. Grain, yeah? Oh, sure, sure. No, but I'm going to go here again. Wait, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. Yes, we have uh, come to the time to dig out the potato in uh, the month of October, and this particular potato we're, it's quite a, has a profound interest for the Irish society, and it's called the uh, Irish Lump. Uh, hence, it became very popular, and also, it we could, we could be cultivated in rather weak, poor soil, wet soil, which we know as why it was so plentiful in many parts of the west of Ireland. Until so it was popular during the famine? Extremely popular, until it came to a point of where it caught a, a virus which destroyed it. Uh, two consecutive years, which uh, led a lot of people to, who are dependent, totally dependent on the lumper for survival without any basic diet, without their basic diet, which was the lumper, which the, what Vincent here is in his hands. Well, you hear lots of funny stories about the potato in actual fact. And I remember my mother at home, she'd be going along, she'd be picking spuds on the drill, and she used to have a funny ditty. And part of it would have been we came from Donegal, where we grew them big and small, and we had them skins and all, so we did, so we did, and we had them with the skins and so we did. But I presume other counties have similar stories to tell, just as well. But originally, the potato came from South America first. And then we changed the name from potato. I think that it was a nickname to put on a spud. And originally, believe it or not, we didn't actually eat the potato in the beginning. We ate the stalk, believe it or not. We ate that fella there. That guy was boiled, they boiled it, and eat it. They gave those to the animals. Until someday, some guy decided he'd have, oh, the stalks were gone bad and yellow and rotten. So he decided, and this is when they started eating the potato. Of course, today we we skin them anymore. That's what happened to him. So he thought the lads underneath the ground were the roots. That is quite correct, yeah. This is the guy they ate. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know, not bad. Now that was boiled. Mm -hmm. A tiny, tiny little bit of taste of cabbage on that there now. Mm. That's a brand new one. I haven't heard that one before. But that's the truth, now, Min. Well, you heard it here first, anyway. Well, I hope. Well, I turn and stalk and see what comes out. Very good. Okay, yeah, that's sound. That's a good a solid spot. They were bought back in the uh, in 2008. They began to start growing the lumper in County Antrim, I think, for cultural purposes, so that they have a history of it. And I'm told that they're becoming popular just as a not so much as a food source, but for historical reasons, just to go back and uh, reminisce on the times when they were so dependent on the... Well, if some people would, people would, would buy them for their popularity. Yes, for their popularity. But or for uh, their folk heroism or whatever. We, 
know that there is an awful amount of different varieties of potatoes. Okay. I'm sure you could name then you could name 20 different varieties of potatoes. We have, I remember in, as a child, the Iron Victor, yep. the Iron Banner, the Terpink, Terpink, Champions, uh, and many more that come from your part of the Shamrock. Shamrock, Shamrock, yeah. yes, right, yes. yeah. But um, the, no, none will will be as remembered as much as the Lumper. It was a, that particular variety we had always conjure up huge images from our past generations. And obviously it would live on in folklore for many, many years to come. And it's glad to see today, Kevin, that you're able to give us a sample of the old Irish lumper. Yep. And we're going to put them away and cook them sometime during the week. Down the hatch when we cook them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If that's an invitation, I'll, I'll turn up for that one. Yes, okay, we shall do that. We'll have the old putta, putta with August Saprati. Well, go on my hug, sir, Fad. I guess the very important. Go on my hug. Mahabohli. We took them in the fall when they were big and small. And we ate them one and all. So we did. So we did. And we ate them at every meal time. So we did.